Hi, this is Jonathan Zelkin, board certified plastic surgeon from Newport Beach, California, here today to discuss a very serious complication of fillers, blindness. It's the scariest complication I think that we can all agree upon uh, that can result from filler injections to the face and honestly anywhere in the face. People talk about, you know, around the eyes, under eyes, it may be in the uh, glabella region causing more uh, risk of blindness. But the truth is, Anywhere you inject a filler in the face, there is a risk that you can go blind. It's serious, it's not zero, it's fortunately incredibly rare. I don't know anybody who's had it in terms of uh, you know, colleagues who are plastic surgeons or their practices, but you definitely hear about it happening and it seems crazy. How can injecting a filler in your face cause blindness when the back of your eye is so far back? To answer this question and to bring light to it, I figured we'd provide a series of demonstrations and illustrations or animations to make this, this point a little bit clearer. The bottom line is it's still sort of a touchy subject. There's no definitive answer as to why it happens. But I think by sort of relating this to a traffic pattern that both providers and patients can have a better understanding about why this happens and more importantly, just be aware that it can happen. So, my theory is as follows. You've got a high pressure system that starts at your heart. It pumps arterial blood out. It goes to your carotid artery in your skull, and then that will further send out blood to the back of your eye called your retina, as well as other branches that go to the face and areas that we inject filler. If you inject filler into one of these arteries, chances are it will continue forward as the pressure is pushing it that direction. But if you use a big bore cannula and you go in at just the right angle and you push hard enough, I bet you can squeeze filler backwards against arterial flow and then it'll basically hit an intersection and the, the back pressure of the arterial blood supply will push it forward in another direction that can, in theory, make its way to the back of your eye. Check this out. A bit of Doppler gel here, yeah. You hear that? That's the supertrochlear artery. Hear that? That's the superorbital artery. The medial palpebral artery. The facial artery becoming the angular nasal artery. And the infraorbital artery. All these arteries, believe it or not, connect the outside world into the inside world around the eyeball. And what can actually happen is you can get retrograde injection, meaning if I were to pressure inject something into one of these arteries, rather than finding their way to a vein somewhere, they can actually go backwards in the arterial circulation and get into the ophthalmic and central retinal artery and cause blindness. What is, so what does all this mean? Well, blindness is a grim, but it's a not zero chance of happening after filler injection to the face. There are areas that are more likely to result in blindness, and we know about areas maybe around the frown lines and the side of your nose and around your eyes. These areas can cause blindness at a greater risk uh, than, for example, in your lips or maybe the corner of your nose. But still, anywhere you inject, there are tributaries, there are pathways that you could theoretically get blindness and retrograde flow into the back of your eye. If this happens, will you know right away? You know, the answer varies based on the source that you're reading, but the, tr the truth is I imagine so. If you get a, a, a occlusion and it finds its way to the back of your eye, it's not gonna only be extremely uncomfortable, but you're gonna immediately notice vision loss. And if this happens, what do you do? Well, any experienced provider, somebody who's read up on the subject, knows that the best thing that we can do at the current time is to inject a lot of dissolver in and around the eye in the eye socket. And the specifics of why this works are a little bit further than I want to discuss in this video, but that is the best thing we can do. Does it mean that you're not going to go blind if you have an arterial occlusion to the back of your eye? Probably not. You're probably going to suffer some degree of permanent damage no matter what. But the bottom line is there are things that we can do to try and circumvent it. But what can you do? I think this can happen to anybody. 
If you have the perfect storm of pressure and angle and, and caliber for the needle that you're injecting, anybody, be it the inventor of fillers to a first time nurse injector, can cause this to happen. My thought is that people who are more aware of the anatomy of the face, people who are more aware that this is a possibility and how to attempt to cure it if it happens, are gonna put you in a better position for minimizing this very low risk and treating it in an appropriate manner should something like this happen. I hope this helps. I don't wanna scare you. Knock on wood, this is not something that I'm gonna see in my career, but you never know. And so I wanna bring this to your attention uh, so you guys can be more educated consumers. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this serious video. Bye.